to my channel so first of all let's ignore my voice and my red skin I am a little bit sick at the moment but I didn't upload a video on Sunday so I definitely didn't want to miss out on Wednesday's video so I am filming today even though I'm not feeling the best so if I seem a little bit down I am not I'm just a little bit sick so yeah but today's video is actually a really exciting one because I picked up a bunch of the new essence products and when I say a bunch, I mean a lot. And just like I did with the new Catrice products, I decided to try it out on camera for the first time. So that way I can give you guys my first impressions, opinions, and just have fun playing around with makeup. So that is what today's video is going to be all about. So if you're interested in the new Essence makeup that they released for the spring and summertime of 2018, then definitely just keep on watching. All right, so starting off with the eyes, I am already wearing my eyebrows because I didn't pick up any new brow products, but I did pick up a bunch of new eye products. So I got an eyeshadow palette, I got a few pigments and glitters, and then mascara, glitter primer, and stuff like that. So first I wanted to try out the Essence uh, Mermaid Eyeshadow Box in the shape My Shell Is My Castle. So this is what that looks like right here. If you guys didn't know already, I am obsessed with mermaids and unicorns. So of course I had to pick it up. The packaging is super adorable. This is what it looks like on the inside. Again, super, super, super pretty. I love the layout. I love the colors they went for. It's very unique and different. So yeah. The only downside with this palette is that there are not a lot of... Um, like matte shades in here. I think this is the only one actually. So I might go in with another eyeshadow. But first let's pick up this shade and try to apply it in my crease. Actually I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer first. I use my Urban Decay, um, what did I use? I use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden to um, prime my eyelids. And then I'm going to set that using my um, powder. This is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Pressed Powder. So I'm just going to use that to set that eyeshadow primer in place. All right, and then picking up this pink shade right here. Let's try to use this in the crease. Ooh, this is very light. Yeah, this is way too light. This could have been a nice like setting powder actually because it is way too light to use as a transition shade. I'll actually just use my bronzer as my transition shade and see what that looks like. That works. If you're like in a rush and you don't have a lot of time to do your eyeshadow, you could always use your bronzer as like a nice transition shade to like define your crease a little bit. It's a great tip that saves you a lot of time. Um, so I'm just going to blend this out. I can't really think straight right now, so I don't know which look I'll go for, but I'm pretty sure it will be all over the place. Essence actually brought out a lot of great um, new makeup items. I'm so excited to try all of it out. There's actually one item that I'm extremely excited about, but I'll show you guys that um, later on in this video. It looks amazing, I can tell you that. Alright, so now that we have a transition shade going on, I do want to go in with this glitter, so I'm thinking what should I use? I am going to use this shade right here and try to apply that in my crease, I guess. <laughs> this is a beautiful like dual chrome shade. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. It has like a blue and brown reflex to it. It's really pretty. Okay, it's not as pigmented when you apply it than when you swatch it, which is a bummer. As you can see, there's not really a lot of like pigmentation that comes from this. There's actually nothing coming from this, like absolutely nothing. And I am going hard with my brush. Like I am hitting the pan hard and there's like barely any color payoff. All right, so far I'm not a big fan of this shade. And I didn't really like the previous shade either because it was way too light. I'll try to go in with this purple shade right here because again, it looks very beautiful when you swatch it. Yeah, again, this is like super sheer. I don't get it. I really do not get this at all. Hmm. Alright, so the color payoff with this shade is a lot better than what it was with the previous shade considering that it is a pretty light shade. It does have shimmer in it, so it's not the ideal like outer V shade, but it's working. Um, I'm just not blown away by this palette. I thought I would really love it, but I don't know. What do you guys think? It's, it's nothing special. So I am going to darken up my crease with this shade right here for my bronzer palette so that we can go in with the glitter. Alright, so then I also picked up a loose pigment and this is in the shade Copper Queen. 
which looks like this. And then I also got a loose glitter and this is in the shade Bedazzled and this is what that looks like. So I think I'm actually going in with the glitter. So before going in with the loose glitter, I did pick up the Essence Get Your Glitter On Glitter Primer. So I do want to use this before going in with that glitter. I really hope this is a good glitter primer because I don't feel like having glitter all over my face. So this is what the glitter primer looks like. Alright, so let's hope this is nice and tacky. It has like a purple reflex to it. I don't know, the ones I've tried so far don't really have that. And it is very, very, very liquid and runny. Maybe I applied a little bit too much. But it's not very easy to apply. It like goes everywhere. So yeah, it's not the easiest thing to apply. I literally have it everywhere. Alright, so then I'm going in with the glitter, which by the way is super, super, super messy as you can see. Alright, let's hope this works. Okay, it is working. It is sticking to the glue, which is good. That is really, really, really beautiful. The only thing is that it is all over my eyes because the glitter primer went all over my eyes. So now I have glitter all over my eyelids. I think the thing with this glitter primer is that you can't really use too much. Like this is already too much. And once you try like working it into your eyelids, you just rub it away, which is annoying. So it's not really easy to work with, however it does do its job. The glitter does adhere to it, so it does do its job. Okay, so so far that glitter looks pretty good. The glitter primer isn't the easiest to work with and the glitter itself is really 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 messy. But I did love the outcome, so... Then I also picked up an eyeliner pen and this is the long lasting eyeliner pen in the shade Mint Rebel. However, I do have a feeling this is not going to match the eyes. So I'll save that for another video. But I did pick up a new eyelash primer and a new mascara. So I do want to try these out. There is glitter everywhere. So this is the Essence Volume Boost Lash Primer with Super Fruits. So this is what that looks like right here. I have actually never ever ever tried out a lash primer. So I'm really curious to see if it makes a difference. So what I'm going to do is apply this only on one side of my eyes. Then go in with the new mascara and see if it makes any difference. But first I am going to curl my eyelashes because I always do this. Alright, so the eyelash primer is white as most eyelash primers are. The one is very spiky and rubbery. So let's go ahead and apply it on this side of my um, eyes. Alright, so now my eyelash is nice and white. I am going to go in with the Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara, which is also new. And this is what it looks like. So this is the wand right here. It is a more curved wand. And the wand is again one of those rubbery applicators, which is the one I prefer the most. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this over the um, side that has the lash primer. And then I'm going to apply it on the side without and see if it makes a difference. Right, so this is one coat of the mascara. I always apply multiple coats, but so far this is one coat. Alright, so this is the mascara all done. I did apply some bronzer onto my lower lash line, but this is what the mascara looks like. Now, I have to be completely honest, I don't really see a difference between the side that has the lash primer and the side that doesn't. Um, but I do have to say that I really like this mascara. My lashes look pretty long, they don't look clumpy, and I did apply um, about three coats, I would say, so they do look pretty good. So the mascara, I really like. This is just an unnecessary step because it doesn't really do anything special. So yeah, this is what my eyelashes look like. Alright, so now that I have glitter all over my face, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just clean it all away. But I have a feeling I'll have glitter on my face throughout the entire day. So yeah, because it's not really going away. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to my face. So before applying my foundation, I am going to try out the Essence Prime and Studio HD Hydra Primer Spray with coconut, water, with coconut water. And this is moisturizing and energizing. So this is what that looks like right here. So when I was reading the claims, it did remind me a lot of the Smashbox... Um, what is it? Priming spray, I think. I have not tried that out so far, but I did want to try this out. Maybe it is a really good priming spray. This would be a great product if you're like in a rush. You don't have time to apply like a regular primer. You can just spray this and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm first going to shake it up. Okay, so the spray is very harsh. As you can see on my sweater, my sweater is wet. My face is also soaking wet. Um, so yeah, it does squirt out a lot of product at once. So I hope this will dry down and get nice and tacky. But I don't know if you can see, but my face is literally wet. 
but I do feel like it's drying down a little bit so okay so what I'll do now is apply my foundation concealer and powder off camera and I will be right back because I don't have a new one to try okay so to add a little bit of color into the eye look because it is looking pretty neutral right now I'm going to apply the essence winter dreaming inner rim eye pencil and this is in the shade sleigh rides and snowball fights this was part of one of their limited edition collections but it was pretty new so I am going to apply it in today's video I have used it once I have to be completely honest but yeah I'm going to apply this on my waterline so I did pick up a couple of their new brushes and this one looked perfect to apply um, nose contours so I wanted to try it out and this is the angled I just dropped it this is the angled crease brush this is what it looks like in the packaging so let's go ahead and open it up I am so excited because these brushes look absolutely beautiful they have rose gold details and they're just they look so fun so this one has like the perfect angle that I thought would be perfect to apply my nose contour so but yeah I'm going to apply a little bit of my contour shade and see if it applies this nicely it does it is a little bit more stiff than i thought it would be it feels quite stiff um but it does do a really good job at applying my nose contour which is great by the way i'm already wearing my bronzer if you couldn't tell this is a good brush i like it the quality is really good it doesn't feel cheap so yeah i really like this brush it applied my nose contour beautifully all right so now moving on to blush i have the would you love me highlighter and blush palette so i am going to use the blush shade in this palette so this is what that looks like so to apply this i think i'm going to use the bronzer brush which looks like this in the packaging even though it says it is a bronzer brush you can use it for literally anything so this is what it looks like. So it feels pretty fluffy. Um, I'm just going to try it out and see if it applies my blush beautifully. It does. It blends out my blush pretty easily. It feels super fluffy and soft. I love this brush range. They feel so high quality and they look absolutely beautiful with the rose gold details. I'm liking it. So this is a pretty universal brush that you can use for literally anything. Even though it says bronzer brush, you could use it for bronzer, blush, powder, anything you would like. But look, it blended out my blush beautifully. And this is a really pretty blush. I have tried it before um, and I also have tried the highlighting shade which is beautiful as well. So if you can get your hands on this still because it is a limited edition collection, get your hands on it because as you can see it is beautiful and it blends out super easily. I also picked up the flat powder brush which looks like this and I thought this would be perfect for bronzer because it does look very similar to my favorite bronzer brush which is this one and this is the Zoeva 90 Lux Grand Powder but this has like the exact same shape so I thought it would be perfect to apply my bronzer although I am already wearing my bronzer which sucks I forgot that I wanted to use this brush so maybe I can still like try to apply a little bit of bronzer even though I'm already wearing enough so I'm just going to use a little bit right off the bat I can tell that this is definitely a lot flatter than my other brush that I like for bronzer but this would actually be an amazing contour brush because it is so like small and you can just like get in there again I am so impressed with these brushes they are super affordable and again just look how beautiful they look I like these a lot all right then moving on to my favorite part which is highlighter now this palette is what I was so excited about this is called the glow to go highlighter palette in the shade sunkissed glow so this is what it looks like right here and then this is what the palette looks like on the inside I have tried out so many highlighters by essence and so far there's only one that I really like and that is the um, like nude glow highlighter that they discontinued um, but when I swatched this I got so excited because it looked very promising I mean I'm going to swatch this shade right here but look at that so I haven't tried it out on my actual face so I'm super excited because I also picked up a highlighter brush and this is the holo, holo lighter brush this isn't new whatsoever I think they released it last season but I haven't tried it out it is new to me so I wanted to give it a try so this is what that looks like the shape of this brush looks absolutely perfect to apply highlighter as you can see right here it has a perfect density so I think I'm going to mix these two shades right here and apply it on my cheeks oh my god look at that Oof, that looks absolutely beautiful come on essence wow 
I am so impressed with this. This is the first time I'm like so impressed with a highlighter by Essence, but look at that. It doesn't like accentuate any texture. It doesn't have any like obvious shimmer in it. It just looks as if my skin is wet and it applies so easily. This brush is also really amazing for highlighter. Oh my god, this is like a winning combo, this brush and this palette. I am impressed. If there is one thing you need to pick up right now, it is this highlighter palette. Okay, I need to put this brush down, I need to stop, but I am going to blend it out with my blush brush because I did apply way too much, but come on, do we see this? <gasps> yeah, you need to pick up this palette, like ASAP. This is my favorite thing I've tried out this entire video. You need this. Why did my light just completely change? But yeah, as I was saying, I'm so happy I finally found a palette by Essence that I absolutely love. This highlighter palette is stunning. Go get your hands on this. Even these darker shades right here. Come on, look at that. I'm actually going to apply the same highlighter, so these two shades right here on my inner corners and also my brow bone. I also picked up the Glow Like a Mermaid highlighter, which looks like this. And this is in the shade Forever Mermaid. When I swatch this, it looks very natural and it has like a pinky undertone. So what I'll do is apply it as like a blush topper and see what happens. So I am using the same brush I used for my blush. That is pretty. This could even work as a blush if you're like really fair, but it does look really pretty and it has a beautiful glow to it. I don't think I would absolutely love it as a highlighter on its own because it's not like intense enough, but for like a blush topper, it does look really pretty. Alright, so now all that is left to do is set my face and then I'm also going to apply some lipstick. So I got the glow to go Illuminating Setting Spray. Um, now I have to be completely honest, my mom has used this and she doesn't like it whatsoever. She says it sprays out glitter on your face, but in like really patchy ways. So I am a little bit scared this is going to mess up my makeup, but I'm going to use it anyways. I'm scared. So this spray is supposed to give you a delicate glow effect on your complexion thanks to the fine light reflecting particles. Additionally, it fixes and protects reliably your makeup with blurring effect. I am really curious to try it out but also a little bit scared so let's see what happens. Alright, so right off the bat I can say that I hate it. I don't know if you can see right here but there's like a huge chunk of spray right here and then also right here and right here, so I don't like this whatsoever. Don't pick this up. Don't pick up the glow to go. Um, I am going to like work it in with my beauty blender and hope it doesn't like ruin my makeup. Ew, it doesn't go away. It's not going away. Oh, it did add a nice glow to my face, but I don't like it. Maybe I could use it as a primer and then work it in with my fingers, but no. I don't like this whatsoever, so... Don't pick this up. Alright, now moving on to the last step, which is the lips. Um, I first got a lip liner, and this is the Essence Stay True 6 Hour Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Make Me Blush. So this is what that looks like right here. And then this is the actual shade of the lip liner. So this is supposed to be a long wearing lip liner. The shade is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to apply this before I apply my actual lip color. It is so smooth, like so smooth. It really glides onto my lips. Alright, maybe it's too smooth because I just lost the entire tip. Great. Alright, so I'm going to just leave the lip liner as it is right now. It is a beautiful shade, but since it is so creamy, it does crumble off pretty quickly. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. The formula is really great, but it is a bummer that it broke very easily. So... That's why I don't think I would recommend this. But then for my actual lip color, I have two options right here. So I have the Color Up Shine On lipstick in the shade number 11, which looks like this. This is more of like a very sheer lipstick. So this is what it looks like right here. As you can see, it has a very sheer finish. And then I also have the Essence Color Boost Vinylicious Liquid Lipstick which looks like this, and this is in the shade Woody Rosy. So it has a wand, which is good. And then this is what this shade looks like. A really bad swatch, but this is it right here. So as you can see, it has a beautiful shiny finish. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one right here. So let's go ahead and apply it. 
Alright, so this is the makeup look all done. Alright, so I am going to wear this makeup throughout the day. That way I can come back and show you guys what everything is looking like after a couple of hours of wear time. But before I do so, I do want to quickly go over the products and give you guys my opinions and how I think of them so far. So starting off with the eyeshadow palette, I do have to play around with it a little bit more because I didn't really use a lot of shades, only two or three, and I wasn't really like blown away. But maybe if I use them like wet and actually on my eyelids, this would be a beautiful palette. So I do have to try it out more before I give you guys my final opinion. But so far, I'm not like really blown away by it. When it comes to the glitter and glitter primer, um, the glitter is really pretty. Like as you can see on my eyelids right now, the glitter is super pretty. So I do like it, except for the fact that it is very, very, very messy. Um, I do like it, but it's just, it's so messy. Um, and then the Get Your Glitter On Glitter Primer. This is really hard to work with. It is really hard to apply. It slips and slides everywhere. But it is a really good base because the glitter really stuck to it. So, I don't know. I'm not like blown away by it. And I do like my NYX Glitter Primer better. I don't know. If you can find a way to work with it, it is a really good primer. It's just not the easiest to apply. The lash primer, it's not that I hate it. It just didn't do anything special. I think both sides look equally as good. So, I just think this is an unnecessary step in your routine. But the mascara, the Super Curl Volume Mascara is absolutely absolutely beautiful my lashes have a lot of volume they don't look clumpy and so far it hasn't smudged or budged which is great so so far I really like the primer the lash primer is just useless in my opinion the HD primer spray so far I can't really say my opinions because I have to wear it throughout the day but it did provide a nice like hydrating base for my foundation so yeah we'll see what my foundation looks like by the end of the day um, it is a foundation that I'm used to wearing and I know what it looks like by the end of the day so we'll see if it looks the same or better or worse with this primer but so far I really like it the inner rim eye pencil I already knew I love this it is a beautiful shade it is very subtle but it still adds a nice subtle pop of color to the eyes so I do really like it the formula is great the highlighter and blush palette is absolutely beautiful if you can still get your hands on it do so because the formula is really good and it is a beautiful palette then the star of the show the glow to go highlighter palette run out the door and get it now like now this is a beautiful highlighter palette it is one of the best ones I've tried out from the drugstore so far and just like look at this glow it is so pretty so yeah I highly 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 recommend this palette if there's one thing you should get out of this entire video it is this palette it is so beautiful the glow like a mermaid highlighter it is pretty it's like it's a little bit gimmicky but it is still very wearable although the colors look really scary it is very wearable so I do like it it's just I don't know if it's like something you really need. I don't think so, but it's nice to have. The Glow To Go Illuminating Setting Spray. Stay far, far, far away from this. This is not good. I don't like it whatsoever. It almost ruined my makeup, so yeah, don't get this. Maybe as a primer, but I would have to try it out. But so far as a setting spray, I don't know what they were thinking. What is this essence? What is this? And then the lip liner, I did really enjoy the formula until the tip broke. Um, so yeah, again, I wouldn't recommend it just because of that. It's just too creamy for a lip liner. And then the Color Boost Vinylicious Liquid Lipstick. So far, I really like it. The color is beautiful. My lips look nice and juicy and shiny. Um, I really love the color. So yeah, so far, I really like this. This, don't pick it up. All right, so now I'm going to wear this makeup throughout the day. And I will give you guys my final opinions in a couple of hours. All right, so I am back. It is now almost. 7 30 in the evening and i finished my makeup at around noon so this makeup has been on for a good seven hours and i'm ready to take it off but of course i wanted to give you guys an update before doing so so overall my makeup is still looking pretty good i am a little bit oily but i think that's actually the highlight so yeah I think it's a combination of the highlight and the setting spray but overall my makeup does still look pretty good so when it comes to the eyeshadow and the glitter and glitter primer the eyeshadow I don't really know I didn't really use a lot of the shades so I don't really know if it is still on but as you guys can see the glitter on the other hand is still pretty noticeable I do have a little bit of fallout on my face but it's actually pretty decent it's not that bad um, so yeah, the glitter is absolutely stunning and it stayed on my eyelids the entire day, which I'm so happy about. Um, I don't think the glitter primer is my favorite one I've ever tried. I do think I still prefer my NYX one, but this loose glitter is really beautiful. The lash primer, I don't really see a difference, so yeah, I'm just about this product don't really think anything about it because it didn't really do anything and then this mascara it didn't smudge or budge throughout the day which is actually amazing because i applied it on my lower lashes and usually when i do so i do get a lot of mascara 
um, right here on my face but I didn't today it didn't smudge which is amazing so yeah I would highly recommend this mascara my eyelashes still have a lot of volume so this is a great mascara. The inner rim eye pencil isn't really the most long lasting because I don't really see it anymore but it is a pretty shade. I think it rubbed away after about 4 hours so it's not really long lasting but 4 hours is still pretty great. Then we also have the priming spray. Um, I don't really know if this prolonged the wear of my foundation at all. I do know that my skin is looking very dewy, um, a little bit oily even. And I'm not sure if it's because of this or the setting spray. I'm pretty sure it's a setting spray. So yeah, I would definitely use this again and maybe try it with different foundations and stuff like that. But so far, I really like it. It was very hydrating. And my makeup is still on. So yeah, the blush on this palette is also still pretty noticeable. So... I already tried it out and I already knew that I loved it, but I'm pretty happy that it is still noticeable. So it is pretty long lasting. And then the highlighter palette, look at that glow. It is still almost as intense as when I first applied it. It is just absolutely stunning. I can't get over this highlighter palette. Again, just you need to get your hands on this. Look, after seven hours of wear, it is still this intense. Come on. Then we have the Glow Like a Mermaid highlighter. I think this is also one of the reasons that my skin looks a little bit oily right here because I did apply it up until here. Um, but it is a beautiful product. I just don't think it's like something you really need, but it is still noticeable. So I'm really happy that I have it, but I wouldn't say that you don't need to get your hands on this. And then we have the Glow to Go Illuminating Setting Spray. Again, stay far, far, far away from this. This sucks. I think this is why my skin is looking this oily. I don't get this. I really, really, really don't get this. And now when it comes to the lips, the lip liner is still there, um, but the Color Boost Vinylicious Liquid Lipstick did rub off. But I'm not mad about that because it has been 7 hours and it is still in lip gloss, which aren't the most long lasting products ever. However, it did stay on my lips for about 5 hours I would say, which is pretty good. It just goes away once you eat something and stuff like that. I just had dinner so it is completely gone. But it felt really good on my lips, it felt very like hydrating and nourishing, it's not sticky, so I am going to pick up some more shades of this because the color payoff was so beautiful. Also when it comes to the brushes, these are really 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 great affordable options, I think they're stunning, they look super pretty and they worked amazingly so i would again highly recommend these brushes all right so so far my little check-in i am now going to take off this makeup i will also continue to play around this makeup and keep you guys updated so yeah all right so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video testing out the new essence makeup let me know in the comments down below if you have tried any of the new makeup and what your thoughts are because i really enjoyed a lot of products that i tried in today's video so i'm really curious to know your guys' opinion but if you want me to try out more makeup and new releases definitely give this video a thumbs up so that i know to film more of these and yeah let's hope i get better soon so that way i can film more videos for you guys but yeah thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch my video i love you and i will see you all in my next video bye i don't know why is this so hard filming when you're sick is <laughs> filming when you're sick is like not the easiest thing um, I can't really think straight right now. I don't know what I am doing. Hello, why is my light changing? I have glitter everywhere. Smashbox primer. Sma I can't speak. Say that it feels right.